Welcome to Graciously Grounded. My name is Christina. If you're new, I am a stay-at-home mom and a homeschool mom of two. This is what this channel is all about. If you're returning, welcome back. Happy Friday! I love Fridays. Why? I mean, it's not just because it's going into the weekend, but I don't know. I just feel like it's like a day to like look forward to, to get over with for like a weekend of rejuvenation. <laughs> so um, I am up early as usual. I'm getting ready to wake the kids up in a little bit, getting ready to do their breakfast. Today's omelets, but I'm going to add a blueberry waffle onto that. So I'm getting ready to make breakfast and then we're going to knock out some school for the end of our school week. Kind of sipping on my cup of coffee so I can try to just get a little boost of energy. Um, but yes, I'm getting ready to do that. And then Savannah, she has, oh, you know what? I forgot about that. Well, I mean, I didn't forget, but we might just start school a little bit later. Savannah has a Spanish lesson today at 9 a.m., 9 to 9.30. So we'll get started with school after that. She was supposed to have the lesson yesterday, but we were having um some issues with our internet so we have to reschedule and so she has it this morning um if you guys aren't familiar with preply um savannah she's been taking tutoring lessons on preply for language um spanish and it, she has been doing that for the past two years and can i tell you that the tutors on preply are phenomenal um like she's learned so much. We think it's really important for the kids to know a second language. I know a second language. I am fluent in Spanish. I've taken Spanish all throughout school. Um, well, in my younger days, I took Spanish for like nine years um, and all of that stuff. So it is really, really important for the kids to know a second language. It is very beneficial. It has been beneficial for me um, when I was actually actively in the workforce and things like that. So it's really, really important for the kids to know a second language. So Savannah has been taking Spanish classes for two years on Preply, and it is amazing. If you guys don't know about Preply, you should definitely check it out. I'm actually going to leave a referral link down below in the description where you're able to get 50% off your first lesson. And let me tell you guys, the prices are great um let's just see we pay five dollars for an hour lesson we've been paying that for the past two years um we've switched we've only sw had to switch tutors one time and that was just because of some scheduling conflicts but other than that we pay five dollars for one hour i have just most recently when i say recent i mean within the last two weeks have switched Savannah down to only 30 minute sessions sessions, just because we're kind of doing some revamping like with our school schedules and you know, like I just feel like the flow of everything. So um, I actually just put her down to 30 minute lessons instead of an hour, but come on, $5 for an hour. Um, it seems like the prices definitely range from $3 for an hour, $3 per hour. And I've seen as high as $20 per hour. It's not just for Spanish. It's for so many other languages on there. And so you're able to go through, look through all of the tutors. You can read reviews when people leave, uh, have left reviews about the tutors. And um, you can, some of them have videos about themselves, just kind of explaining like what they do, how long that they've been doing it. They have descriptions. It's amazing. So if you guys don't know, definitely check it out. And if you are thinking about getting your child into a second language, that is definitely a great and reasonable route to go. So I'll leave the referral link down below and you can get 50% off your first lesson.
All right, Savannah, so she had just started um, Spanish. So Josiah and I, we are getting ready to go outside for a little bit. Where are we going? We're just gonna come out here for a little while Savvy has her 30 minute lesson. Echo move. Yes, after she's done, then we're gonna go for a walk, okay? Okay. Bobby, are you could throw the ball to that thing. I can throw it? Huh? No, I don't want to throw it. <laughs> you want to jump in a trampoline? Yeah, come on. Let's can go. you count to 20 while you jump? Show me how high you can jump and how high you can count. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Count. <laughs> Wait, we missed some numbers in there. Hold on. <laughs> huh? You guys see our little garden over here? Huh? It's been neglected a little bit. We have yellow squash. Well, we need to kind of pick this one soon. I have to hand pollinate a lot of these to get the fruit to even come about. And sometimes I catch it like when it's too late. And so we actually have not had... A lot of success and I need to cut back some of these um, leaves I don't know like where the bees are they're just not not there so um, and I actually forgot what this is back here I'll have to go look in my gardening journal to see what was planted um, I don't remember what that is but yeah Sometimes we just kind of experiment with our garden um, just to kind of see what success we can get. It's, it's like really, really hot where we are. And so like the garden does, does not last throughout summer. It just gets all burnt up. So, I mean, we probably have a couple more weeks with the garden looking like this before all of the leaves and everything become all wilted. But nonetheless, um, it's definitely a learning curve. This is our third go around with a garden. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to incorporate like a garden unit study for the kids and we can actually study the plants and like what works well being planted by what and all of that stuff. If I what? You're going to go up in the sky to space. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think I can push you that high. Oh, I can look. I can look the paper. Walking feet. It is already super hot out here. At least it feels super hot. Yeah, but when we go to the shade, it actually feels really nice. Huh? When we go to the shade, it actually feels really nice. I know. But when we're walking in the sun, it, it, it even gets worse when you run. Like, yeah. And then you, like, you get too tired when you drink water. Yeah. You don't have water. Yo, know, I seen a little chihuahua just like that. Let me see. Let me see. Just one. I hate them. The kids call these hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah. They pick them up every time we walk. They are. They feel like spiky. They are building up so many homes by us. The kids wanted to come. Let's see the builders. And go all the way down there though, you guys, because they are working. Come here, Joe. But they're building up so many communities that's by us. It's crazy. These are um, some of the new homes that they're building. The kids, again, wanted to go see more houses that are being built. So there's actually, I think those are model homes down there. You guys can kind of see all the way over there. And then we are going to be making our way to 
these houses that are over here. Um, again, they're all being built. <laughs> huh? Daddy, do you still get to buy the house model? Um, sometimes they sell the house house models. And Come here. Let's go. I heard it. Yeah. Fine. So Fine. these are all of the homes. I don't know. This is going to be another new community. And then all over here, I don't know if you guys can see, but those are all brand new homes as well. So we have our regular neighbors that always see the kids and I walking. Give me your hand, please. And so it's always fresh to be able to say hello every time or they like make it apparent to say hello to us every time we're walking so um it's definitely nice to be able to know that there's always friendly people you know out there regardless of all of the other chaos and things like that that we hear about you know on the news and stuff so we have our regulars that we always say hi to <laughs> all right while you guys are reading Colors. All right, so before we go to the park with that, get down. Okay. Yes, sir. Before we get, go to the park with Dad, um, you have to tell me don't do that. All right. So how do astronauts eat in space? They so they can't eat cookies or anything because. Because so they're too crummy. So they because what? Because they're too crummy. Because they're too crummy. Yeah, and it'll make a lot of mess, right? Yeah. So what they have to do is put it in a tortilla, and it never makes any crumbs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about how do astronauts sleep in space? They have to go throw it somewhere. They have to go throw it on top of the ceiling, the wall. And they have what? And sleeping bags. They, have they do. They have sleeping, sleeping bags. bags. Uh -huh. And then it, they have to go throw it to the wall or something so they don't bump it deep in the <laughs> yes. And how many moons does Earth have? How many moons does Earth have? We're on oh, Earth. One. one. And what is the sun? A big star. The sun is a star? Yeah. And what are stars? Stars are these little things that you could actually see. No, oh, they're not little. But they're actually little things. They're actually really big and they're made of? Gas and a hot burning gas. 
They're made of gas, yes, and they're just these big balls, but they look so small to us because we're so far away. We're million and million and million miles away from stars, right? Yeah, I mean, so they look so tiny, they're but like they're a big ball of gas. That's they, what a star they're is. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. they're like this big. Yeah, they look like that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We are getting ready to go to a random park trip with dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the school area really quick. And we're gonna go on the trip. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right here if it's there. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day.